Ladies and gentlemen, researchers and professors, I'm Gendai Lee. I'm from Japan. It is great honor to me to make speech in second international webinar on global healthcare and unit in Paris. Thank you. And this my title is Useful Group Fielding. Additively enhances the glucose lowering effect of an increasing moderate in high carbohydrate diet in type 2 diabetes. Next is my COI disclosure. Those I have no financial conflicts of interest. And this is my agenda and um, introduction and study design and calculation of carbohydrate and uh, high speed food analysis TIR 140, 180 in CZM and the patient profile and the result and the final conclusion. This is my Kitagishi city, East Common Bridge, beautiful morning blue. And West, work at the bridge, fascinating, nice radio. And this is uh, Kogura Castle. Thank you. And this is uh, seafood, delicious and low, cal low calorie and famous for, um, and this is uh, sushi. Uh, this is uh, well famous in this, this district. If you come to Japan, please, uh, come to us. First introduction, sodium glucose co-transport the two inhibitors, SDLT2, have been introduced as uh, new therapies of type, type 2 diabetes and have uh, many effects and the as four inhibitors, DPP4 is it is for inhibitor decreases blood glucose too. And both SDLD2 inhibitors and db 4 inhibitors are inhibited. In this study, we want to check the difference between the two. Study design was um, shown in this slide. And uh, every patient candidate uh, applied uh, intermittent scan CGM, continuous glucose monitors. It's applied to the all candidates. And week two, this growth protein was added to the former treatment, then calculated the carbohydrate during the two weeks. And calculation was um, done by high exacerbated of clinical data were obtained from the electrical record dynamics and analyzed by SPSS. Calculation of carbohydrate was a bit difficult in the um, outpatient setting. And this was calculated by high speed food analysis um, developed by Otto. And this is uh, panel of analyzes of this application programs view. And for example, morning sandwich and lunch noodle and evening rice and steak. And putting several click makes a right panel result. It's a very useful and convenient. And this is the same panel. And panel B showed a concrete and uh, actual ratio of the in ingredient. This is a uh, so first day, we will, for example, um, the first day, November 4th, um, ratio was calculated that. And the second week of day, um, this day was application. Um, this was applied and result was 
the, for example, and high speed analysis applied and simultaneously and ISCM was applied. And this was the picture of the first week. And then second week, the risk of glucosing was administrated. And then um, we can cal calculate morning rise and lunch rise, lunch four, evening rise, evening four. And this is the uh, first morning rise of the first week. And then second week, um, this remarkably reduce or decrease of the glucose increase. So I think it is a very um, interesting and very useful tool to visualize a glucose reduction. And this was uh, TAR, till above range 140 versus above range 180. And same, um, same um, applied in the time in range and similarly 240, 140, and TBR. And this is a uh, TIR tummy range 140 versus tummy range 180. Differences uh, exist in the both uh, um, remark um, borderline. But um, to make a sure uh, TIR 140 is difficult, more difficult than 180. But um, I applied 140. And patient profile was uh, in total 35. And first week of mean blood glucose was 156, and second week 106 and 35. And it is a difference between the two. TIR was increased from 44 to 540, uh, 54. And it is significant. Both TAR, TBR are a usual um, change. But important is the TIR change. This is a button. This, this is a panel of first week and second week of result. And this is without the increasing. And this is minutes mean uh, time in range. So this was decreased and uh, lower panel, um, X CHO mean uh, high carbohydrate group, group. And left group, lower panel shows low CHO group. This is a low carbohydrate group. And between uh, one's first and the second, there are serious differences between the two. This is uh, without the incretin. And the next is uh, uh, with the incretin. And the same is applied on this group. And the first week and second week, there are significant differences. And this is a high coverage group. That's right panel is low carbohydrate group. Um, same like um, first week and the second week, uh, there is significant differences between the two. And using this system, I check the next panel. And this is the same result um, seen in two of the in one panel. Uh, right is uh, before receive glucosin, uh, sorry, left left panel is before receive glucosin. After receive glucosin was um, um, written in this left panel, and right panel is before receive and after receive. We don't need summary, and but there is um, 
difference between the two. And these differences were um, somewhat different in shape. Left panel is left panel is um, sharp decrease of high carbohydrate group, but right panel is not so sharp decrease in in low carbohydrate group. Thus, this is, this was analyzed by GLM method by SPSS. GLM means a uh, generalized general linear model. And by this method, there are differences, significant differences in these panels. So we can, um, we can say uh, there is an uh, additive effect of glucosin in lowering the glucose in high carbohydrate patient. Next panel is a result. Daily amount of carbohydrate was calculated using by high speed food analysis in 35 candidates with type 2 diabetes. This whole this showed decrease of blood glucose. This was expressed by ISCM at a decrease of TIR, minute 140. This if he clearly reduced the morning rise index in ISCM. Rise index and fall index were obtained from ISCM. And this glucose lowering effect was obtained additively in both with increasing group and without increasing group. Furthermore, these additive effects were enhanced under the high carbohydrate intake. Conclusion, this cell grief protein in clearly reduced the morning ride index in ISCGM. Combined treatment with an ingredient moderator and an SGLT2 inhibitor had an additive effect of high versus low carbohydrate intake indicating the possible effectiveness of the combined therapy. Thank you. My, fin my presentation is finished. Thank you for listening.